yes, we go out to brunch, we have dinners, drinks, yeah. we all hang out. A lot of us are from another place, so when we came together, we formed a quick bond, and, and we're going all the way from Grace Van Dien, who's 21, I believe. 22. 22, all wow. the way up to Dominic Chianese, who just turned 88. Wow, so wow. it's like a full And we all yeah. go out together. Dominic can party. By the way, right party. how yeah. great to sit at, a, at one table with all those people and get the different perspectives. That would be incredible. Oh, it's right? amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's like the show. The show is like a bunch of people who come from different backgrounds, you know, different ages, and then they kind of form this family, and we honestly have formed a family. Yeah. 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 Oh, Anything great. that you guys did is an icebreaker to really form that family unit. <laughs> yes. What Very did you do? smart. Our producers did. took us, we did our first read through, and a lot of us met for the first time. And then they took us to a place where a chef had us make our own dinner. Mm -hmm. What did we make? Oh, ravioli? Pasta, yeah. Yeah, and made our own pastas. And so <laughs> you just kept, oh, so you made the pasta. We made from it. Scratch, we had, yeah, had dinner together. Bread. So we kept switching off, and you know, you're chatting, and we're meeting each other for the first time. But it was really incredible. And then we sat down to this meal that we made together and just chatted. It. Yeah, it was great. Among yeah. the two of you, who's the better cook? I mean. I felt pretty good about my body. Okay, what did you? Okay, Kayla might have some opinions on that. Let's yeah. move on before a fight breaks yeah. out about the pasta pride. <laughs> um, the show touches on a lot of themes that are relevant to what's going on today. What is the most important message that you hope kind of gets out via the show and people watching? Well, I hope that people just, it changes the way they look at, at their sense of community. You know, I think our show, it takes place in the same apartment building and, and these neighbors become a family. And I think probably for a lot of people, you, you might not know your neighbor, you've probably never reached out. So maybe it'll change the way that you kind of see the people that are literally living on the other side of the wall.